Welcome back to Ninja VR FX. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a proper rundown of the MT5 terminal so you can understand fully well how to maximize this potential and how you can trade comfortably knowing what you're doing in the markets. All right, so this is MT5 terminal, and at the bottom of the screen, we have quotes, charts, trade, history, and messages. I'll get my route to now so you can follow through with that. Just like I mentioned, you can see them at the bottom of the screen over here. Yeah, so that's that for that aspect. Now, to understand fully what this part entails, you can see when you click on quotes, you come down quotes, click on charts, you see the charts, you click on trades, you see the trades, account equity, you click on history, you see the history of your account, you click on messages, you see the messages. Now, this is a demo account where we we'll test run the strategies in the market directly. And we're trying to test run something on the NFP markets. And yes, this is why it's demo. So the NFP markets they actually showed us what NFP actually played out. Yeah, so should I don't describe myself going against that. All right, we funded this account specifically to test it for this purpose. And we saw it live under it. I'll be explaining the importance of demo account, which you've definitely seen. All right, so you can understand if your strategy is profitable or not from the test. But yeah, let's go straight to the tutorial we're here for. If you're in this community, I encourage you to keep on working with us and I would advise you to like and subscribe to this community because we have more and more videos working out day and night for your good. All right, so do subscribe and let's proceed. So yes, when you click on the quote, you see your list of currency pairs over here. You see a lot of them over here, but I'm just having one because I actually deleted a lot of them from my chart. So you want to add them back, click on this add button over here. When you click on add button, you see forex, crypto, crypto cross indices, stocks, energies, and forex indicator. I mainly trade in the forex markets and indices market sometimes, but yeah, mainly in forex markets. And I trade major currency pairs. As I see, OUSD already added to my charts. So if I search OUSD again, I might not see it here because already added to my charts. Right? But if I wanted to trade GBP USD, GBP USD. This Great Britain pound versus US dollar. I'll just search it out, click on it, and voila, is on my charts. Good. Now I understand how to add another currency to your chart. I'm moving straight up to the next step, which is how to work with the currency from quotes to the charts option. Now, Euro USD, you come to charts, click on the charts button. You see that's Euro USD that's on my screen right now. You get it. Uh, since we already understand that Euro USD is what's on my screen right now, we need to go back to quotes. And try to see how to make GBP USD, all right, Great Britain pounds versus US dollar to be on my screen. So how do we do that? I click on GBP USD here. You see, when you click on it, you see new order, you see charts, properties, market statistics, and simple view mode. What I just do here is click on charts. When I click on charts, automatically take you the second option, load GBP USD, and voila, you have it on your screen. Now, how did I move in? All you have to do to move in is so zoom. Okay, you. Use your two fingers and you can zoom just like that. Two fingers your screen. The same way you zoom in on pictures and zoom out on pictures. As I zoom in and zoom out with the forest charts. Hope you understand that. Yeah, so moving on, we've learned this concept about adding up the charts. You need to understand what new order entails, properties, and the rest. If I click on new order, it's going to take us directly to the other category where you trade. We have market execution here, we have buy limits, we have sell limits, buy stop. Sell stop, buy stop limit, and sell stop limit. This entire category here entails how you enter into the market to trade. All right. And this on its own is a segment for proper discussion in another video. I'm not going to spend too much time here because we've already broken down how to enter a trade on our previous videos in this playlist. So if you haven't watched our playlist that teaches you how to enter your own trades, do have to check our previous videos so you can understand this properly. But for purpose of executing, I'm just going to show you this is your sell, this is your buy. You place your stop loss over here, your take profit over here. You are going with market execution and you are selling. Simply click on sell. And if you are buying, you click on that button again and click on buy. What I just do, this is actually just jumping into the market. No analysis, nothing at all. Because the demo account, this is where I do all the tests, like I mentioned earlier. All right? So, how do you get into this aspect without going through the charts directly? I simply click on this button over here. All right? This is where you go to your orders. So when you click on this button, it will take you to this place here. But let's say this is GBP USD. I need to trade on Euro USD, not GBP USD. What do you do over here? You come over here, and instead of this dollar sign over here, pardon, so this dollar sign over here, to so be focused on just GBP USD. You click on it, 
and click on USD. So you can see what is over here now. We change and it has already changed to USD. Hope you're getting it. Since it has already changed to USD, make sure you open here. It's going to place under your USD. All right, so you need to take note of this because any mistake you make in market, you're losing money. My free and not losing money, but actually losing money. Even from smallest form, if you make a mistake, you either lose money from spread or you lose money from commission. Yeah, so you don't have to make too much mistakes in market. So let me show you what I mean by lose money. So I'm closing these positions right now. See that one just three dollars in profits, right? One dollar in profits. You think you've made money? Five dollars in profits. One dollar in profits, right? Two dollars. So let me close all these positions now. So after closing positions, I'll come to this segment called history. Remember, I've talked about quotes, charts. This way, charts. I'll come to the chart segment and explain properly. Chart segment on its own is a long process. I'm going to talk about. All right. Oh yes, so make sure you understand it properly. The trades, how you take a trade directly. You can use this to rearrange the orders. How you trade show over here. The history is this segment here. So yeah, if I scroll to the bottom, you see this are the three trades we just entered. Where we have GPUSD, USD, and under USD aspect here. Okay, we entered four actually, including this. I want to analyze them. If I click on this button, all right? I open it one lot. Remember what I said earlier, if you make a mistake, you're losing funds. Yeah, you made a loss of $1. You think you only lost $1, think again. It's one called commission, minus $7. So I'm using a raw spread account, ROAW spread account. So basically, they charge commissions for this instead of spread. And commission is better than spread. You understand? But yes, if you just put position by mistake and just quickly close it, think nothing happened, you've lost some money. Same here. Yeah, I made dollars, $4 profits here. I think you've made profit, you've not actually made profit because commission is seven dollars. So four minus seven three. I'm not discouraging you as a newbie. I just need I just need to show you um how the market really plays out, even with a raw spread account. All right. So just to show you the in and out of the markets. Now, if you are still confident in the market and you're staying with me directly, I'll be showing you more examples and helping you grow from there. All right. So don't stay with me by subscribing if you haven't. Yeah, so basically we've talked about the quotes. We've gone to try to lead to. The trade segment, the history is where you see your past trades. I guess quoted are account. So literally everything will be from today. Okay, yesterday, today, yesterday, today. So it's just a test run. I prepared the account for the NFP test run. All right, to see what's going to happen in the market. And this is literally what happened on a demo test run. So yeah, this is let's you know how volatile the market can be in just a few minutes in the markets. All right, so you just need to be careful. Now, if you are looking for, let's say you've been trading for a while, you want to see the history. You can click on this button over here. It's like a calendar sign. Click on it. You take it to today, last week, last month, last three months, custom period. So you want it from the 23rd of 23rd of October down to 31st of October or 1st of November. You just move, click on OK to load. But everything we have is just in two days. So it's literally the same thing you've seen here. All right. Well, last but not least segment is messages. My profile is linked, usually linked to my NQL5 account. I have an NQL5 account because that's where we work on sales of our trading bots and the like. So you want to purchase our trading bots where we give automated trading signals and approach from trading bot. You can actually sign into the NQL5 market and purchase our bot directly. The link to the bot directly will be in the description below. If you want to make some money while trading with automated trading bots, instead of you risking yourself in the market, you can also work with this approach. Right, so that's for this approach over here. All right, so now going to the charts, which our main focus, I'm going to explain how the chart arrangement works out over here. Now we can clearly see from the charts, we see we have a crosshair tool over here. This crosshair, you see, we have this tool over here. I usually call this a uh, function tool directly for indicators, but here it's mainly for indicators directly. We can see this in present our time frame, this M1. If you click on it, you see different time frames you can select from. Yeah, I open the buy position right here in the market just to show you a quick example of the importance of these two. You can see here showing you where sell limits can be. If I take this down and do it, you can see where sell limits can be in the market. So instead of the sell limit this time around, buy or going up is take profit, coming down is L sell. I can just put the take profit 1.29375. So if you want to take put take profit, I've taught you in this other previous videos. So just click on modify position. All right. So 1.2970. For SL, it's going to be lower. So 900. Or take profit is going to be higher. 
1.2970. The reason why it's going to be higher for take profit because you are buying. When you are buying, you aim for the higher part in market. So I come back here and click on this aspect here. You see that the market will highlight what happened in the market. All right, showing our SL and take profit positions that we just placed. You can get that clearly. Okay, so this can also be used for limit orders and rest to gauge in markets how it's going to play out. Now, this last part here is not actually new in quotes, although some people like me will call it a new aspect because we've been trading for a while now. When we started, it wasn't there, right? Like last four years, and this aspect here signifies one click trading. Okay, I'm talking about on the MT5 account determiner. So this is one click trading, which means we just a click recently open the position. You don't need to wait for your SLTP. This is good for scalpers. We just a click, you open the SL position. But take note, this is actually still risky. Let's say you have a broken screen and your screen taps by itself and opens one position, so you've lost your phones. Let's say you give your phone out to someone and taps quickly, you've lost phones. Right? Or let's say you have one in the chat and just trying to do one or two things and you mistakenly just open 10 lots or something on an account you don't want to risk up to that for. Because you have high leverage, it opens and then you lose funds. So you just need to be careful if you are setting terms for this. But yeah, the, like, once I, what I mentioned earlier, this is a demo account and it's okay to be here because this will run all our tests with funds that we can't actually lose. All right, so I believe I've broken down the segment over here. The trade, I've talked about the trade. This entire trade market to explain it, the balance, equity, margin, free margin, margin level. I'm talking about that in another video, so I don't make this video too lengthy because trust me, MQF5, MT5, the trading terminals and the likes, I need to let you know fully well that they're highly detailed. Okay. But what you need to understand fully well that this is the balance in the market. Equity is what is running based on the trades that are running. Okay. I won't call it your floating balance in quotes, but yes, it's based on what is trading in market, based on the trades. So if I close all these positions now, the equity is going to be equal to your balance. So I close all. You can see I'm trying to close this one one. It's taking my time. So let me show you quickly. You can actually hold one fully. See close position, modify position. I've told you to modify by clicking on it. Add your SL and TP. And see new order to open a new position. Chart to go back to the chart. Close one to close one position. But you see block operations. If you want block operations, you can close all positions at once. Close all losing positions. Close all buy positions. Close GP positions and just like that. What I'll just do is to close all positions and voila, two positions close at the same time. But after seeing that directly, you can clearly see that the balance is equal to the equity. And the free market, everything is the same. But once you open a position, you can see there are different starts showing up directly because of floating margin, the margin requirements, and the level of margin market based on your capital. Hope this makes sense. All right. So basically, I believe I've been able to break down a lot in this video. And in future videos, based on your reaction in the comment section and what you want me to do, I'll break down more for you. If you want to actually understand more about settings, you can always click on the screen. And see more shortcuts on the screen directly. Remember, this is the crosshair to, to identify the markets, and you can work with that. If you click on this button over here and click on settings, you see more options to explore over here, which you can definitely do. Okay, so if you want to get more information, if you want me to do a part two of this video, just let me know and I'll do a part two of this video for your sake. I right, trading markets entails inherent risk, so make sure you do proper risk management as one of your properties to work with. And yes, my dear subscriber. Please make sure you understand the trading market before you jump in. You don't just jump in and make quick money. You can obviously see from tests in the market that you can actually make losses. Take note, this is not my real account. We don't make this kind of losses there. <laughs> this is why I use um, demo accounts to test. And this is why demo account is there. So please don't spend too much time sleeping on your demo account to trade. Once you know you're already productive, you're already making some profits with demo, move to your center account. Once you know you're making profit cents, move to your real account or perform account or even both at the same time. And then scale from there. All right. If you need proper guidance, you can always message me on WhatsApp. The link is in the description. If you need proper explanation on how to market goes around and you need the mentor in this feed, you know how to contact me on WhatsApp or Telegram and I'll be here to guide you. Do not subscribe to this community because I'll be dropping more of this for you. Yeah? And mm -hmm. see you in the next one, champs. Peace.